If you head west from the city of Naples, you will begin to see large craters, altered regions, and calderas in the ground representing vents of the Campi Flegre supervolcano. On September 27th at 3.35am local time, this very region produced a magnitude 4.2 earthquake, causing minor shaking to be felt by several million people. What had just occurred was Campi Flegre's largest earthquake in at least 40 years, and this event happened alongside two other unusual events. This earthquake struck at 3 kilometers depth, exactly where the shallowest magma at this volcano is expected to be. This magnitude 4.2 quake occurred as part of a swarm which as of the writing of this video has consisted of more than 75 volcano tectonic earthquakes. However, the biggest change relates to the amount of ground uplift which is occurring at this volcano. As, beginning on September 12th, the amount of ground deformation spiked to its highest level seen since 1985. In other words, the peak ground uplift rate due to the intrusion of magma at 3 km depth in a lack of lift has increased from 18 cm a year to 75 cm a year. While this dramatic increase could be temporary, if it continues, it might be that Campi Flegri is right now undergoing its first seismic crisis since 1985. What exactly might this mean? Well, since 1950, Campi Flegri has undergone three seismic crises during which ground deformation rapidly increased due to a temporary increase of magma flowing from 8 to 3 kilometers depth. During these periods, which lasted between 2 and 4 years in length, ground uplift increased to between 35 and 121.4 centimeters a year, resulting in highly frequent small magnitude earthquakes with the uplift itself sometimes leading to building damage. Why exactly might a building be damaged? Simply put, structures are not necessarily designed to be pushed upwards by 5 meters or 16.4 feet since 1950 in an uneven manner. Yet, this is exactly what has occurred since 1950 with this uplift being centered at the Pozzoli site. Although we only have a brief dataset to work with so there could be a large margin of error, between September 12th and September 24th the ground has risen by a maximum of 2.5 centimeters. If this rate were to continue for a year, it would not only surpass the maximum uplift rate measured during the 1950-1952 crisis, but also the 1968-1972 crisis. Only the 1982-1985 crisis had a higher rate of maximum uplift that specifically ended up triggering the evacuation of 40,000 people and involved a 121.4 centimeters of uplift a year. If this uplift does continue, I caution that evacuations similar to what occurred during 1984 might occur. Luckily, there have not been any major changes in fumaroles or other geothermal features or signs that an imminent eruption will occur anytime soon. As, in my opinion, the current threat if this uplift continues is not an unexpected volcanic eruption, but rather potential damage to buildings near the uplift center where cracks and foundation damage could hypothetically appear, possibly even destabilizing some entire structures. You might wonder why I do not believe this current unrest will lead to a volcanic eruption in the short term. First of all, magma does not yet exist at shallow enough depths to directly trigger an eruption in my opinion, like last occurred in 1538. Instead, in the five-step cycle Campi Flegri seems to undergo, we are merely in step 3, a period of heightened ground deformation where an eruption is highly unlikely. I would only be concerned about an eruption becoming possible if ground deformation for more than 12 months exceeded 2 meters a year, like last witnessed in 1537 to 1538, where some areas reportedly rose by as much as 9.1 meters or 30 feet a year. In summary, a new seismic crisis similar to what Campi Flegri experienced between 1982 and 1985 may now be ongoing once again, but a volcanic eruption anytime soon in my opinion seems highly unlikely. As a final note, I would like to thank this channel's patrons on Patreon and channel members on YouTube.